back in time in this video to compare two ultimate monsters, so from one side we have the largest 8020 deer tractor from 2002 to 2006, the Deer 8520, in a comparison with its opposite largest Magnum tractor of Case Company from 2004 to 2006, the MX305, both were the largest tractors of each series and they compete each other on 305 horses level, you can find them on the market as used, so if you want to buy a 305 horses old tractor and these two are recommended to you, stay until the end of the video to see which comes first on power, size, performance innovations and fuel use, of course do all these and help us grow, so enough talk, let's compare. As about the engine. The Deere wears the John Deere Powertech engine of 8.1 liters and 6 cylinders, one of the strongest engines back in 2000, this engine now is replaced from a larger one of 9 liters that the 8R series use nowadays, case from the other side wears a larger engine, the CNH of 8.9 liters and 6 cylinders, the difference is a little big, nowadays the CNH engines are not used anymore on Magnums and they are replaced from a smaller FPT, so as about the engine the Magnum has larger engine on 305 horses level. This is an advantage on faster working speeds in the field but with more fuel use, you choose. The gross power of the deer is at 305 horses and it can be boosted on 335 with boost, case is almost the same, at 304 horses rated power and it does not use any boost. So the deer has the boost advantage on 305 horses level. The PTO claimed of the deer is at 256 horses with 56 liters fuel use per hour. Magnums is at 256 also but with higher fuel use, at 59 liters per hour, so Deere has the advantage as it performs the same PTO claimed with lower fuel use. The PTO tested of the Deere is at 292 horses with 60 liters fuel use per hour, Magnums is slightly higher, at 299 horses with 64 liters fuel use per hour, so, Deere's tested is lower but more economical on fuel use also. The drawbar performance of the deer is at 225 horses, with 56 liters fuel use per hour and a max pull of 16,153 kilograms. Magnums is lower, at 220 horses, with 59 liters fuel use per hour and a max pull much lower than deer's at 9,238 kilograms. So here the deer is clearly the king of the drawbar performance on 305 horses level. The peak torque of the deer is at 1,390 newton meters or 1,337 newton meters are mentioned also, both on 1,200 revolutions per minute. The old deers could touch a high torque on much lower revolutions than today's 8R series. Cases from the other side is mentioned as much higher, at 2,627 newton meters on 1,400 revolutions per minute. We don't know if this number is right, but it is mentioned on most sites for this tractor. If it is correct, it is extremely higher than deers but Deere can touch its peak on lower revolutions. From the other side the next model case Magnum 310 has a much lower torque on 1510 newton meters, so we cannot guarantee that the 2627 newton meters is real. There are not available brochures for MX305 so we cannot say which one is the king of the torque on 305 horses level. If you have an available brochure of MX305 and the torque is mentioned, let it in the comments and we will pin it at the top. The rear lift hitch of the deer is at 9,700 kg with the front one touching the 5,200 max, Magnums is lower, at 8,128 kg rear hitch and front one also lower, at 4,990 kg, but it can be higher than deer's, at 5,897 kg with heavy duty, deer's front heavy duty is not mentioned, so deer is the king of the lifts on overall capacity. The top speed of the deer is at 42 km per hour with 2200 revolutions per minute of rated engine speed, wearing the automatic power shift transmission and a max fuel tank capacity of 606 liters. Some of the cabine innovations are, command view cab with comfort command seat or active seat and command ARM. Big passenger seat, radio, air conditioning or optional automatic temperature control, optional refrigerator, field office cabinet, drink holder, corner post, dashboard mini pod, vehicle monitor, hydraulic touch set panel, optional deluxe performance monitor and more. Case from the other side can touch the 40 km per hour, with 2000 revolutions per minute of rated engine speed, wearing the power shift overdrive transmission and a max fuel tank capacity of 681 liters, higher than Deere's 1. Some of the cabine innovations are red leather active seat, leather passenger seat smaller than Deere's, radio, air condition, file keeper, drink holder, thick leather steering wheel, monitor and more. So we saw the overall performance and innovations on 305 horses of both, sources are down to the description, let's now compare the size of both to see which comes heavier and larger on 305 horses. 
The operating weight of the deer is at 9,700 kg and it can touch the 14,000 kg fully ballasted, case is almost the same on operating weight, at 9,790 kg, but it can touch a higher weight being fully ballasted at 15,157 kg, so as about the basic weight both are the same. The wheelbase of the deer is at 2.98 meters, case is almost the same, at 3 meters. The length of the deer is at 5.85 meters, case is slightly longer, at 5.97 max. The height to the cab of the deer is at 3.20 meters, case is slightly taller, at 3.26 meters. So, as a conclusion, the deer on 305 horses level can produce higher boosted power than case about 30 horses, it has more economical PTO claimed on same horsepower, more economical PTO tested, more powerful and more economical on drawbar performance the same time with much more higher max pull about 7 tons, smaller fuel tank, it can touch its peak torque on lower revolutions than case, it has higher rear hitch capacity, higher front hitch lift without heavy duty. It is slightly faster on roads, it is generally slightly stronger and more economical tractor on overall performance. Mangum from the other side on 305 horses level has larger engine, that's why it uses more fuel on previous tests we mentioned, it has higher PTO tested power but with more fuel used per hour, it has insanely higher torque if the number we gave is correct, it has higher front hitch lift if the heavy duty is installed, it can get heavier on ballast weight and it is longer and taller on size. Both tractors have the same rated power as we said that's why we compared them, same PTO claimed, same basic weight and same wheelbase. So friends, you want to buy one of the two as used for your fields at 305 horses, which of the two would you choose? Red or green? We would recommend the green as it has slightly better overall performance with less fuel use. If anyone owns them we waiting more informations at the comments, subscribe us for more, have a happy new year.